Now an exclusive interview you will only see here on Jet 24 Action News. One of Erie's oldest cold cases may finally be solved. A Texas man arrested this summer 34 years after the brutal murder of his 77-year-old grandmother, Helen Vogt, is speaking out tonight. Yeah, Jeremy Brock claims he did not kill his grandmother. He called me from his jail cell at the Travis County Correctional Complex in Texas, where he was being held until yesterday when he was extradited back to Erie. He has been in jail since July when he was arrested in this cold case. He says his grandmother's murder has been haunting him for decades, and now he wants to tell his side of the story. As 55-year-old Jeremy Brock sits behind bars, he warns his grandmother's killer is walking free. I, I've said I've been innocent since, you know, 1990, and, uh, you know, 30-some years later, it, that hasn't changed. Fury police say Brock had been a longtime suspect in the 1988 murder of Helen Vogt. But investigators say now, after all these years, they have evidence linking Brock to the crime. A 34-year-old Erie cold case comes to a close. Vote's body was discovered in her home after a witness reported seeing a man with a towel wrapped around his head speed off in her new Buick. Police say she had been beaten and stabbed at least 50 times. Did you kill your grandmother? I did not kill my grandmother. Did you ever do any physical harm to her? No, I never, I, I never put my hands not only on her, but on anybody else. Brock, who was 21 at the time, says he was in Los Angeles when his grandmother was murdered and didn't learn of her death until the following day when he called home to check in with his parents. So you were not in Erie when your grandmother was murdered? That is correct. Brock claims he had never been in the townhouse where his grandmother was murdered. He says the last time he saw vote in Erie was in the mid-70s at her previous home. Correct. I never been in so I've never been into that house. But detectives say that's not true. And with new DNA technology and a bloody washcloth investigators found at the murder scene, they can prove it. But Brock says it's not possible for his DNA to be on anything in that house because he claims he was never there. Hypothetically, if I was if I was the one that did this, if I was the killer, why are there no prints there? Why is it that uh, the, the killer, I, I took a shower, but there's no hair, there's no blood, there's no fibers that link me? Apparently there was a palm print. Uh, I was told by my mom and dad that they found a palm print, didn't match me, who did that match? That interview went on for about an hour and coming up at six, hear how Jeremy Brock says his grandmother's car, which police say was stolen from the murder scene, proves he is innocent. And of course, again, the police say, you know, they filed charges against the man they believe has Correct. committed this crime. And, and I remember the scene. Well, I was covering uh, that particular murder at that scene on that weekend morning back in 1988, and it, it definitely it definitely stays with you. I remember talking to, uh, you know, one of the detectives, now retired, uh, Dom DePaulo, worked mm -hmm. for the Erie Police Department. After all these years, um, I, I know he spoke at the news conference this summer. Right, he did. Um, I also reached out to him uh, to see if he would like to comment for this story. Mm -hmm. And I also reached out to the district attorney. Both declined to comment. However, Erie Police Chief Dan Spazarni sent me a statement saying, quote, Helen Vogt suffered a terrible beating that caused her death. I believe the evidence, when presented at trial, will result in a conviction of Jeremy Brock for homicide. All right, much more to come um, next uh, installment at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Right? Okay, thank you, Jen.